the one thing with garfish is they're a schooling fish. And when they school up, they school up in literally thousands. So when you do start getting them on the bite, you can catch plenty really, really quickly. The one thing to keep them in the area is burley. And we use a combination of both. One, this sort of pollard mix, and two, this pre-mixed burley. Now these have all got oils in them, aniseed, and they're really, really good light burley to keep fish around. This one's quite wet with fish oil, so you can just really make up into a ball and just throw it out into the water. And of course, once that hits, it will disperse and go down. Obviously with this one, it doesn't have the fish oils in it as such, so it's a little bit more powdery, but still a really good burley because it really sits on the surface and then slowly just sinks down, creating that burley trail. So again, it's like a fine mist when you throw it out and then letting it sink. When it comes to bait, <clears throat> there's a wide variety of baits you can use. You could use little tiny pieces of dough if you wanted to. Alternatively, silverfish, which is this white slender fish here. We just cut it up into real fine pieces and just thread it onto that hook and make sure you've got as much hook exposed as you possibly can. And that way, when the gas sucks it in, he gets hooked straight away. So cast that straight out into the burly trail. I'm not too far from the boat. In fact, I'm only about four or five meters out. So you don't have to cast way too far. The, the fish will come in on that burly trail and they'll come right to the source. You're the source, you're throwing it in. So just keep those baits and those floats in close. And then as soon as you get a bite, the float will dip under the water and you're on.